In this video, I am going to look at the equation of a chord to a parabola. The parabola we're looking at is x squared equals 4ay, and the points I'm working with are p and q. Now, you can see that the coordinates of p and q are given in its parametric form, 2ap, ap squared, and 2aq, aq squared. Now, a quick reminder that the parametric equation for this parabola is x equals 2at and y equals at squared, where t is the gradient at any point. So, in this case, since the gradient at p is different to the gradient at q, we can't have the same pronumeral representing those two gradients. So p and q, little p and little q, are fixed. They represent the gradients of the tangents at these two points. That's p and q representing the gradients. All right. To find the equation of any line, we need a point. Well, I've got two of them, and we need a gradient. Now, I'm looking for the gradient of the chord. So let's find the gradient of the chord. We know gradient is found using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's substitute in. My points are my y2, aq squared minus ap squared for y1 all over 2aq minus 2ap. I can take a factor of a out and factorize the difference of two squares. And take a factor of 2a out. And I end up with my a's cancelling and my q minus p cancelling. That leaves a gradient of p plus q all over 2 or q plus p all over 2. So I have a gradient now. I am going to find the equation of the chord. So, equation of the line y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Substitute my point. Now I'm going to use point P. So, y minus AP squared, my gradient, x minus 2AP. I am going to expand the right hand side. So leave the left hand side as is. So that will forgot my bracket. That will leave me with P plus Q all over two at side of X. The twos will cancel and I'm going to try to expand the uh, brackets straight away. So that would be minus A P squared minus A P Q. Now I am going to rearrange to write this in its general form. So that would result in p plus q over 2 at side of x. Move y to the right hand side and move my minus ap squared to the right hand side which will cancel the negative ap squared on the other side. I'm left with minus apq equals 0. Now that's the general form. Sometimes you'll see this equation written as y minus p plus q all over 2 plus a p q equal 0. And that's fine, but just remember that the general form has x as its first term. Now again, this is one of those formulas that is not meant to be memorized. You just need to know how to derive it. And in all these cases, every time I'm finding the equation of a straight line, I look for a gradient and a point and use y minus y1 equals mx minus x1.